I'm Elvira, uh, I'm from Hungary and uh, I studied uh, at Leicester uh, between 2016 and 2019. I'm part of the uh, School of History and the School of Modern Languages. Um, I studied history and French. I did quite, quite a lot of uh, trips at Leicester. Um, the most important of these was um, the field trip uh, we did in Seville, Spain. Uh, we went there with my uh, year three special subject uh, group. Um, our special subject was um, Christian Muslim relations in the medieval Mediterranean. Uh, that was the na name of the subject and we spent almost a week in uh, Spain exploring the um, history, uh, culture, uh, art and architecture of the place and the Christian Muslim um, historical encounters. I also spent uh, a week uh, in Paris, uh, France, uh, with a travelling scholarship. Uh, the university supported me to uh, uh, go to Paris and uh, improve my French language skills, um, explore the history and uh, society of France that I was uh, studying about. Um, I also went to China. Uh, I did uh, a summer course at the Shanghai International Studies University. Um, it was also um, a Leicester initiative. Um, it was amazing. It was uh, my first time in Asia. Uh, it was a, an entire month, so I really got to um, experience the place and I traveled there alone. Um, and it was just um, a really special um, episode of my degree uh, at Leicester uh, to study about uh, Chinese culture. Um, and the other thing uh, I could uh, do at Leicester as part of my history degree was um, my research trip to Scotland. Uh, the Stanley Burton uh, Research Centre, uh, Centre for uh, Holocaust and Genocide Studies, uh, supported me uh, to uh, go to Scotland and uh, explore the archives in Edinburgh and Glasgow uh, when I was writing my dissertation on uh, the Jewish rescue activity. Um, in um, uh, Europe, uh, in Hungary, uh, during the Second World War. Um, and it's, it's, it's something um, you wouldn't expect um, as, a, as a BA student to be able to um, uh, actually you know, explore uh, archives and uh, support your research. So all these travels um, gave me the, the opportunity to um, think outside of the box and um, realize how amazing it is to, to be a historian, how varied um, your career can be. Flexibility was amazing uh, at Leicester. Um, the great thing about the history degree here is that you can tailor it uh, from day one uh, of your studies. Uh, you can choose from a really wide range of uh, subjects, um, courses, modules at Leicester. And um, the most amazing thing is that um, you can choose uh, from a module list of, you know, um, exploring um, medieval history, um, early modern history, modern history. There are more interdisciplinary subjects, uh, which can be really exciting if you enjoy uh, studying languages or you're into uh, material culture, for example, or uh, gender studies uh, or uh, psychology, so uh, there are courses, um, subjects uh, at Leicester that can help you explore uh, many, many different uh, areas. Um, the other thing I was um, quite um, worried about at the beginning, if, um, if I was good enough and my knowledge was deep enough um, uh, to pick some um, certain uh, subjects here. Um, because in my home uh, secondary school system, I studied um, every period and uh, every almost every geographical region in the world uh, in world history, um, and I didn't know if um, my broad horizon was was also deep enough to to uh, pick certain um, modules. Uh, but the answer is yes. Um, the expectation was really to be enthusiastic and interested. Um, I just had to uh, be uh, diligent 
and interested in uh, you know exploring the sources, asking questions, um, asking for more um, uh, tasks. Sometimes, if I was interested in in in, um, in a new angle um, of a certain topic, um, I could uh, choose subjects from. Um, medieval uh, European history or medieval Mediterranean history and I could combine it, uh, this special subject, with my uh, dissertation on uh, the Holocaust uh, during the Second World War um, and it really broadened my horizon. I uh, just um, explored my own interests and our um, lecturers were really um, supportive um, they supported me, they encouraged me to uh, pick any subject I was interested in um, and uh, make the most of uh, my selection. There are two research centres uh, at the School of History that I need to highlight. Uh, one of them is the Leicester Medieval Research Centre, um, which is um, an interdisciplinary uh, subject group which means that um, scholars uh, from the uh, fields of history, archaeology, um, English, uh, French, they come together and uh, they uh, organize events, um, seminars, workshops, conferences, um, colloquia um, on a number of medieval topics um, <clears throat> from uh, Asia, through the Mediterranean, to Europe. Um, so it's a great way to meet people from other schools as well um, who are interested in the medieval period and um, it's something um, you can uh, use a lot uh, in your uh, you know, later career um, because you can discuss a number of topics with people who have different perspectives and uh, different knowledge um, on the period you're all um, interested in. Um, so the Medieval Research Centre um, organised these events that I uh, frequently attended, um, invited uh, guests, professors, talked about their um, uh, recent books, um, the research that they did, um, archival trips sometimes. And it was amazing because um, we could think about historical research uh, beyond the books and the articles that we had to read for um, our uh, lectures and seminars. So we enhanced our understanding of what it meant to, to do um, historical uh, research, uh, to look at primary sources, to go to uh, archives and, and uh, explore uh, new material. Um, so it was really, really helpful. Um, and of course, when you meet uh, scholars from different universities, different countries, um, you just uh, realize how um, international this field is and how many uh, things you can do um, with uh, a medieval history uh, degree or, or history degree with an interest in, in, in um, the Middle Ages. Um, the other uh, research centre I would like to mention is the uh, Stanley Burton uh, Centre for Holocaust and Genocide Studies. Um, it's also uh, an interdisciplinary one. Um, they support you to uh, go to their study space, um, look at the books they have, um, the little library they have, uh, to talk to other scholars um, also interested in uh, the history of the Holocaust and various respects and, and regions um, of the Holocaust. Um, again, uh, a lot of talks, um, invited scholars, um, conferences, uh, symposium, um, and uh, they support you to write your uh, dissertation uh, in this field and to go to archives already as a BA student, which is um, not something uh, everyone does. So um, I really appreciate the, the help, support and encouragement I received from these two centres. Um, I also need to um, emphasize that I got the most um, personal support from lecturers at the Medieval Research Centre and at the Stanley Burton Centre. It was amazing because um, these uh, scholars were helpful not just in um, asking my questions when I had any, but um, they were proactively helpful and supportive. Um, they just 
talk to me. Sometimes they came to talk to me uh, at the end of the seminar and encouraged me to pursue uh, further research, do a master's, PhD if I wanted, because uh, I had uh, potential um, uh, in this um, field of study. And it was something, it was just amazing to, um, to learn that uh, they saw potential in me. And uh, sometimes I didn't even have to ask for help or um, support or suggestions what to do next because um, they uh, talked about a lot of opportunities. Um, there are some really young scholars at Leicester, um, a lot of international people, which is, um, which is really uh, encouraging um, for me. Uh, it was, as a European student, I, I was happy to, to meet a lot of um, scholars from all around the world. And they talked about their own studies, um, the summer schools, the master degrees, the PhDs, the, the research trips they did, um, which uh, was a really, um, seemed to be a really exciting um, option for me for the future. Um, and some of these scholars um, sent uh, emails to me um, about um, upcoming events, talks, conferences uh, I could attend. Um, meet uh, new people interested in history or working in the field of history and um, improve my knowledge uh, in, in a number of areas. After my graduation at Leicester, I went uh, to the Netherlands to do a master's degree at Leiden University in uh, medieval and early modern European history. And then um, I started a PhD uh, at the University of Cambridge back in the UK I'm researching uh, French and Hungarian diplomatic relations in the early uh, 16th century. What I did after Leicester, uh, everything I did after Leicester was inspired by uh, my time uh, at this university. Um, it was an amazing intellectual journey, um, exploring my interests, um, getting to know myself, um, being thrown into a very new and foreign environment, but also um, being encouraged and um, supported uh, in every initiative uh, I had. Um, I never felt uh, discriminated, I never felt uh, let down. Um, I had a lot of um, uh, social and academic support. And I think, um, this support combined with the wide variety of um, subjects and opportunities and, and travels and um, research um, uh, events um, I attended at Leicester prepared me um, for a wide variety of uh, career pathways. At the moment, um, I aim to uh, pursue an academic career after my uh, PhD at Cambridge. Um, I would like to become a lecturer at university. Um, but I feel like this is just one uh, of many other options I could pursue with, with my degrees and um, experiences uh, and skills. Um, I feel like uh, with my um, history uh, degrees, um, the BA and the MA, but also just with the BA. Um, I could work in journalism, media, at various research centres, think tank, um, politics, um, teaching, uh, secondary uh, teaching or uh, tutorial uh, schools. Last year I had the chance to um, prepare uh, students uh, online at the Chinese uh, tutorial school who um, were aiming to apply uh, to uh, British and uh, American universities. Um, so there are just so many things you can do um, and this is a brilliant option here at Leicester to explore all these, what you enjoy, um, what you're good at, um, what you could uh, do for a lifetime and um, it's amazing how many transferable skills uh, you uh, gain and improve um, in the course of your career as a history student at Leicester. And during my time here, I always felt that this um, variety of uh, transferable skills and the amazingly broad horizon of the um, K-12 
career options as a historian um, was introduced in detail. Um, so it was not just, um, you know, uh, lecturers and uh, um, seminar leaders talking to us about uh, the subject and the, 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 the factual uh, side of uh, historical research, but how you can apply this. And I think it's very important uh, as a student to learn how you, you can apply the uh, theoretical knowledge um, you know, in uh, real life uh, when you graduate. Um, and I believe I was truly, truly uh, prepared uh, for this, um, uh, this whole new world uh, which is coming ahead uh, after your graduation. Leicester is a wonderfully uh, research intensive university and the way you can um, experience it, this is that your lecturers talk a lot about their own work. So the lecturers I had, the professors I had here at Leicester, uh, introduced us to their own uh, questions. Sometimes they, talk, they discussed um, uh, the questions with us, the questions they were also thinking about. Um, uh, and it was just really inspiring. Um, to feel that they were really interested in um, our thoughts and ideas. Um, I think sometimes we could even challenge them um, with our questions. And it was just a very, very um, exciting uh, opportunity to have uh, as a BA student here. Um, they publish a lot. Uh, they publish in top journals and they uh, publish their monographs. And these are uh, books and uh, journals that you can uh, access um, at the library, which is a wonderful resource. Um, whether you're interested in um, ancient history, medieval history, early modern studies, or uh, the modern world, uh, you'll find uh, so many um, pieces of scholarship, scholarship written by uh, the lecturers here at Leicester. Um, so it's just very inspiring that teaching and research um, are combined in, in a really um, well-managed way at Leicester. And this is something that you can, you can um, uh, sense even as a BA student uh, at this university. My main tip um, is to make the most of your degree and your time at Leicester. There are so many things to explore, so many options to choose from. Um, it's too much, um, even for three years uh, or four years here. Um, try to attend every event you're interested in, even the ones that are not strictly related to your degree because um, you'll meet people, uh, you learn about new things, um, which can be really, really useful uh, later on. Um, apply for all the opportunities, uh, trips, uh, research events, um, any grants and scholarships you see. Um, they will be so useful uh, additions uh, to your um, university uh, curriculum. And the other thing would be um, to approach um, as many people as you can during your studies, um, members of the academic staff, not just the people um, who are teaching you at the moment, but um, other scholars who um, seem to be supportive to you, try to talk to them, uh, try to um, ask for advice, um, talk about your interests, um, your dreams, uh, your visions about the future. I've had the experience of, of being understood and um, empathized with and I learned so much from uh, conversations that happened um, after the class or during these trips or events uh, that I attended. Um, so, yeah, my top tips would be to uh, talk to as many people as you can, um, not just the uh, professors and lecturers uh, you meet, but also your fellow students um, that are studying with you um, uh, in your courses and subjects, because you can learn a lot from them too, their experiences, their knowledge. Um, you can really support each other um, in the course of your uh, degrees. Uh, and the other top tip would be, uh, yeah, just to, to make the most of it. Um, try to attend as many events as you can and um, try to think about what else um, you can do because um, these three years, they, they fly by so quickly and you're going to miss um, your time at Leicester a lot.